Hello everyone. This video is intended to be a brief look at Pelican's epic line of uh, cartridge filled and fountain pens. These were first released in 2004 and had a limited run uh, up until about 2007. First up is the Titanium Silver. This uh, pen is uh, an all plastic construction. Where the epic line deviated from most cartridge uh, style pens, uh, most pens would have the barrel uh, unscrew from the section. That's not true of this line. You unscrew what uh, Pelican refers to as the handle, or perhaps blind cap here in the back, and as you pull it out, you see you get this cartridge tray. And you can insert the cartridge properly. And as you screw this back in, uh, this will seat uh, the cartridge. You can use one long international cartridge or uh, two standard uh, small uh, cartridges kind of back to back. One of the major drawbacks of this design is it's not really suited for a converter because if you insert a converter in here, there's no way you can actuate the piston. So if you're going to use a converter, a, a standard uh, C499 uh, Pelican converter will fit. It just is a matter of you'd have to fill it from the barrel first or from the bottle first uh, or fill it with a syringe uh, prior to inserting it. The nibs of the, pre of the P360 line are all uh, uh, rhodium plated uh, stainless steel. Uh, there is a uh, engraving on the left shoulder that gives you the nib width. Uh, they're just simply a um, logo on the top of the nib, and that's about it as far as the pre P360 line goes. Uh, the caps are snap fit. You can hear it's a very reassuring fit. Um, they post very well. So this one was re first released in 2004. Also in 2004, you know, we have the sapphire blue, uh, also with um, kind of all plastic components, uh, the nibs the same, uh, except this one has uh, kind of black resin elements versus uh, the um, silver colored of the titanium silver. And then for something a little bit different for those that like gold trim, uh, you have the uh, emerald green, and this one has kind of a glossy gold trim to it. It's also the only one with a, a gold plated stainless steel nib. And then the cap top is also has a screened uh, single chick logo, also done in gold. Um, though this is not the only pen in the series with gold trim, it's the only one with a, a gold cap top logo. And the nib assemblies of all these models um, do screw out. You can see it's kind of this kind of bulky uh, assembly. Uh, the only models, uh, nibs that I can exchange with are other uh, epics uh, because this doesn't fit anything else. Also, you can see here the nib assembly protrudes from the end of the barrel, almost kind of like what the rot ring uh, core uh, looks like, which is just an interesting design choice. The only other P360 is the Jade Green. Uh, this one was released uh, several years later. It is um, kind of the same kind of uh, process here, plastic components, um, just a little different styling to the barrel. You know, one thing that I've noted with the Epic line is that the P360s, you know, they're stainless steel construction, they're plastic, um, they're more entry-level models. Um, that plastic is a little bit more prone to uh, damage and wear. You can see a little wear spot here on the uh, handle. Um, there's a few scratches on the barrel. Um, so these don't hold up as well um, with just kind of wear and tear over the long term. It's not horrible, but just something to be aware of. Pelican also released four models that were an upgraded version. So if those were the P360s, um, this is our first P361. This came out in 2005. And you can see here, it's got this, you know, concentric ring pattern. Uh, along the barrel. So this is like an anodized aluminum. Um, this has like a brushed finish on the handle and cap. Uh, the furniture is um, done in a matte finish. I think it looks really sharp. Um, while the P360s are nice, I think the upgraded models really take the cake in terms of looks. You know, something else I didn't point out as, as well is, um, you know, so you have the feed protruding from the barrel there. Um, 
at the tip of the barrel, you know, it's flared out. It gives you a nice kind of uh, area to kind of grip the pen and write with. None of the finishes are slippery. They all kind of feel good in the hand. This is um, with the upgraded kind of um, aluminum components. Uh, we get more durability. These do not show wear nearly as much as the P360s. And now we have 14 karat, um, you know, gold nibs uh, with rhodium plating. And you can see here on the right shoulder, it indicates the um, uh, gold purity of the nib. Also in 2005 uh, was the... I think this one is the um, onyx uh, black, or the, the silver onyx silver. Um, this has a kind of a weird rubberized texture to the handle and the um, cap. It's got a nice kind of like soft touch to it. Um, and then it also has an anodized aluminum barrel. Nothing much more uh, specific than that. Uh, just kind of a difference in terms of cap and handle. Uh, the cap does pick up some kind of lint and, and pocket fuzzies just by the nature of its... Um, uh, material, though it's not tacky or anything like that. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky. It's just more prone to pick up um, Linton-like. In 2006, we get the granite silver. Um, this one has matte golden components, which I think are, are really sharp looking against the brushed uh, aluminum uh, cap. You can see the cap top uh, does not have a golden logo, uh, unlike the emerald green. This is the first uh, one to come in a bicolor nib, still 14 karat, but you can see the shoulders now um, have yellow gold uh, and the top is still rhodium plated. The barrel itself has kind of like a textured leathery feel to it, which is, uh, again, something unique. I, I like that each one of these finishes is unique in its own way, um, but this is a, you know, an excellent, uh, you know, looking pen in terms of just uh, sheer kind of just sharpness without being gaudy. The final pen in the series, uh, you know, the upgraded models, is the P364. This is the Nutwood Brown, um, which the barrel is actually made from American walnut. Um, you can't really recall too many pelicans coming in a wooden finish. You can actually feel the texture, uh, a little bit of the uh, wood grain. This is also the only model to have a trim ring at the uh, end of the barrel as you can see here. And it's also the only uh, pen in the Epic line um, to have an 18 karat uh, bicolor nib. So this was kind of the kind of pinnacle of the uh, Epic line. And consequently, uh, the price reflected that as we went up from P360 to 361, 362, 363, and now the 364, each subsequent model, you know, brought a higher price tag with it, secondary to the, um, you know, materials used and, and the like. So all things considered, uh, the Epic line is, um, I think, often overlooked. You know, obviously they're now discontinued, um, but they can be found out there on the secondary market. I think it's an overlooked model. They can be great writers. Um, if you don't mind a uh, cartridge, basically only system, uh, they can really, um, you know, be great everyday workhorses. So that's just been a brief look at Pelican's uh, epic line of fountain pens.